Today we are comparing the two LEGO Star Wars 501st Clone Trooper Battle Packs. Although this set right here was not technically introduced as a battle pack, we all know what it is. Set number 75280, the 501st Legion Clone Troopers, 285 pieces. This was released at $30. Came with four 501st Clone Troopers. Three of them are the same. Two droids and two builds. Now we have the Clone Trooper... Uh, Five Force Clone Trooper Battle Pack here, 75345. This is a $20 set. We often refer to this as the Specialist Battle Pack because you do get four separate specialists in this set. And you get one build here, which is a cannon, which is pretty cool. So, real quick here, um, I think they are both awesome sets. Um, so, we're just going to take a look at both and I'll let you guys know what I think about the two and if there's one that I like more than the other. So, for the first one, 75280, you do get three of the same clone trooper here, just so you all know. I'm going to show you. And it is an awesome looking clone trooper. Uh, there's no holes on the side, which seems to be a common thing for LEGO Star Wars. People don't like the holes on the side. doesn't really bother me too much, but here you go. Here is the 501st clone trooper from the OG 501st clone trooper battle pack. Next up, you get the 501st jet trooper, which... I really, really like this figure. Um, just the blue arms do it for me, and the little red in the helmet looks really, really good. And he gets his jetpack. Now, keep in mind, all these figures do come with blasters. I just don't have all of them in their hands right now. I usually just take the blasters and just toss them into a bucket. Now that we cover the figs for the first set here, we have the speeder bike here, which is a nice little speeder bike. There were quite a few stickers. I used to just basically build one of these i have so many of these battle packs um during football sunday i would just sit and watch a game and build a battle pack just because it was kind of like refreshing and relaxing to do um cool little speeder bike here um but you know i don't know if i'd rather just have minifigures and less builds but it is a really really good speeder bike that's for sure all right so now we have the walker which looks really really good too um, there are some stickers here on the front of 501 there on the front and right there on the top and the minifigure does fit snug in there. You can, um, position the set with the legs and it is an awesome build. Like I really, really do like this build again. I built probably, I don't know, 10 at a minimum of this set and it is an awesome, awesome looking build. Moving on to 75345, it comes with this awesome cannon. And folks that I've seen so far, I've been super, super happy with this build. Uh, it has a nice seat there that you can put your clone trooper. has a nice blaster. Overall, this is an awesome little build. I don't really do much with the builds, but it does have the flexibility with the legs there to do different things with it. And overall, I think it is a very, very nice looking build, as you can see comes with a little uh, missile there so all in all you can position this up and down however you like to do it this is a really cool looking build the first fig in the set is the 501st officer and what i can tell you is his rangefinder falls out quite often which is very very aggravating but i really do like the printing on this it looks really really good the helmet looks really really good you know the holes are what they are uh, I know folks, again, are upset about the holes in the set, but I know that it's there for people to customize it. And overall, the only thing that bothers me about this particular figure is that the stupid rangefinder falls out, and it was really a pain in the butt to get in there. You get two 501st Heavy Troopers here, so we'll just put one down here. They come with the nice visor there. And overall, I really like this trooper. Uh, he's got, you know, again, nice printing there. And the helmet, again, the holes are on the helmet. I know folks have been upset about that. I'm, it doesn't really upset me. The uh, the visor fits in there nice and snug. And it doesn't fall out, which I was super happy about. And then you have this there on the back as well. Overall, this is a pretty cool looking figure. The final figure in the set is the 501st Clone Specialist. He has his own separate white visor. Uh, I really like the uh, the yellow there on his left hand side, my left or his left hand side, our right hand side. As you're watching, uh, I like the blue arms; they look really, really good. I I like that in both of the sets, the blue arms. 
and this is a pretty cool looking figure something different the uh like the, i guess this is like a like a rangefinder visor some type of thing uh it looks pretty good uh, I know that some folks have said it should be different or have some more coloring to it, but overall for me, like, it doesn't really bother me that much. It's there, um, and, you know, it is what it is, but I think it looks pretty good in my personal opinion. This is a cool configure. All right, so to sum up this comparison, we ask ourselves, which one do I think is better? And I don't think that there is an answer for which one's better. I think... It all depends on what you are looking to do. So you pretty much could have gotten the OG Fiber First Battle Pack for most of the time around the $24-ish range because it was 20% off many, many times. Uh, has two really cool builds, and you're getting basically three of the same figure. So if you want an army build, getting three of the exact same figure probably goes a long way. And the Jet Trooper is really, really cool. Now, if you're just looking to get a ton of Fiber First Battle Pack picks or Fiber First Troopers in general, you're not concerned with these three looking the same and you're okay with getting these like specialist type thing. Now, with this being only like $16 on sale, it does bring down your cost of the uh, per figure. So if you just want to just get a ton of figures, you want to pick this one up because you can just get a ton of figures for cheap now. Um let me know what y'all think. I think they're both awesome. Personally, I like this one more would be my personal opinion, but it really just depends on what you are looking to do. I think Lego overpriced this one at the time, gave us these two builds and the droids to kind of fluff it up and give you more. And they probably could just release this at a 15 or $20 price point with the four minifigures, but they just knew that the demand was there. But looking back on it, Thinking about getting this for $30 and getting this for $20. If you just want to have figs, this is the way to go. Just get a ton and ton of figures. But depending on like what you want to do with it, it you know it's really up to you. But the OG to me, I like a little bit more. So thank you all for watching. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video. And slap that subscribe button if you made it this far.